One thing that um, I want to discuss now is how do you navigate? How do you move around in the sample? So there are different ways of moving around in the sample. One is you can move the joystick. So obviously you can't see this because it's a recording of the screen, but I'm moving the joystick right now. And so the joystick, if you move to the right, you go sort of towards the right on the screen. If you move up, you go up. And if you move down, you move, you move down here. So um, that's how um, the joystick works. Um, you can also navigate live by double clicking on something that you want to center. So for example, if this cell is particular, or this you know, protrusion from a cell is particularly interesting, if I double click on it, it will go there. It doesn't do it if I click once, you have to double click. So it's like, oh, maybe this is interesting or this is interesting. If I double click there, that goes to the middle. So that's one way uh, of navigating on the screen, which I think is very useful. Another way is you can hover near the edge and you can see that this arrow appears or this carrot. And if you click on this um, kind of big one, it moves by about half uh, the, st the stage size. So if I click it again, I expect this really bright thing to drop to about here. So let's see if that's true. And you can see that you know it moved down here. So that's uh, what I said. And then if you go all the way to the edge, you can see that there's like a highlight on the very edge. If you click there, it just moves all over by one field. OK, so if we click here, we should go back to where we were before. If you click on the bigger one, it moves by half a field. OK, and then if, again, if you double click, you go, um, uh, you center on whatever it is that you double clicked. Uh, so those are some of the ways of navigating. There's there's a final way of navigating, uh, which you can use if you don't want to do uh, live, which is to use the stage. So if you click here, uh, and then uh, this appears, and then you click once, then um, if, for example, you you hit snap or or live, you will be in that position. So let me just um, hit live, and you'll see you're now centered there. Uh, the only reason that I would use this is if you just want to quickly go to a position, snap an image, go to a position, snap an image, and move on. For for live imaging, I really think, uh, excuse me, for, for live navigation, I think this sort of double clicking or using the joystick or or doing this is, is um, I think it's it's u much more user friendly. So that, that's what I would do um, to, to move around. I now want to switch and discuss uh, a series of other adjustments uh, that live here in this acquisition mode panel. Um, th those adjustments can be more clearly illustrated uh, by using the sample, um, uh, by looking at the sample with a higher magnification objective. Uh, so I'm going to use one of the oil objectives, uh, in particular uh, the 63x oil, um, uh, to look at this. So I will stop this video. I will have the next video will show you how to put oil. Um, on the objective. Uh, I will then adjust these. So when you change objectives, you may need to adjust these things. So I'll, I'll do that all sort of offline. And then when we return, we'll have the same three channels with the 63X and we can go into what all of these things are used for.